Hi children, it's Grandma Carla, and we're going to read another little segment of The Pilgrim Fathers, Meet the Pilgrim Fathers, and we're on chapter 11, At Home, At Last. On Saturday, December 16, 1620, the Mayflower came to rest in the harbor at Plymouth. Many of the pilgrims lay sick in bed with high fevers. The pilgrims had not had fresh vegetables or fruit for four months. This bad diet had made many of them ill. The pilgrims who were well did all that they could for their sick friends. Even so, six pilgrims never saw their new home. They were dead before the end of December. How sad. The pilgrims buried their dead, but they had no time to sit and mourn. They had to start building their town as fast as they could. The men worked in rain and snow and sleet. They cut down the trees. They sawed them into boards. Each night they took their tools back to the Mayflower. They were afraid that Indians might steal them. Everyone knew there were Indians nearby. They had seen smoke from the Indian fires. Standish said that it would save time to leave the tools on the shore. He said 20 men should take turns guarding them. The 20 men cut down branches. They made huts of the branches to sleep in. It was cold and windy. Everyone caught colds, but they kept on working. First, they worked on their meeting house. Many people would be able to sleep in it while the 19 small family houses were being built. When the walls of the meeting houses, house were up, the men moved into it. They lit a fire on the dirt floor. They slept in their clothes. Still, they were cold. Many men got too sick to work. Those who could work started to build houses for their families. In a month's time, a few family houses had been built, but the work went slowly. Everyone was hungry and weak. And here is a picture of them getting home. Their Mayflower is now parked in Plymouth, but oh, so many people were sick. And six of them never ever got to get out onto the shore. And the next thing we're gonna read about is fire, fire. This is Grandma Carla. And I love you.